Travel across America with me. I told you I would take you to the Hotel Alcazar. It's from the Flagler era. It was built between 1887 and 1889. Henry Flagler was one of the co-founders of Standard Oil Company. Now you know where he got his money. To develop the Florida East Coast Railway, the Alcazar was part of a trio of Moorish and Spanish Renaissance revival-styled resorts that depicted Flagler's ideal of a Riviera in St. Augustine. St. Augustine is one of the most fabulous cities in all of Florida. Have you subscribed? Yet? The Alcazar Hotel opened its doors on December 25th, that's Christmas, 1888. The building features terracotta ornamentation and walls made of poured concrete. It originally contained a large indoor swimming pool, the first such facility in Florida. The hotel operated only until 1931 and then remained closed for nearly 40 years. What a shame! In 1946, Otto Leitner, a Chicago entrepreneur, purchased the abandoned building to house his amazing collection of fine fine arts, musical instruments, ceramics, and curiosities of all kinds. The building and its collections Leitner donated to the city of St. Augustine before his death in 1950. The former hotel has since 1972 housed city offices and in its South Half a Museum named for Leitner, who lies buried in the building's central courtyard. St. Augustine established 1565. I will be doing so many more videos on St. Augustine. Where to get the best tacos? Let's visit a fort. What about the historical water well? And look at these buildings. And is this a scenic byway? And you'll want to go back and watch all the videos that I've produced about Flagler and the east coast of Florida. From Palm Beach to Key West and across the Keys, there's so much to see and do on the east coast of Florida. I've also taken you to see the African Queen. Yes, the historic boat from the film. And where do I get the best key lime pie? And did we really stumble across the world's largest lobster? Have you subscribed yet? And how can I stand at the buoy at the end of US Highway 1? Go to Truman's Little White House in Key West. And what about the best fruit stand in Florida? Is it really in Homestead? There's a treasure trove of information in the videos on all the sites in Florida. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about lunch at the Biltmore Hotel in Coral Gables. Have you seen the Coral Gables City Hall? Oh, and speaking of coral, what about the Coral Castle? There is just so much you'll want to go back and see all of these videos. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip.